Hare Krishna. We may be infinite steps away from purity, but we just need to take one step now. Suppose we have to go on a very long journey. At that time, we may think, how can I ever cover this journey? And that may make us simply disheartened and we may not start at all. But it is said that a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step and continues on also with a single step. It's not that we have to go wild and we have to cover it all right now. So on the spiritual path, we all seek purity. We all want to become pure, free from our lower desires, lust, anger, greed, envy, pride, illusion. And we want to become purely attracted to the all-pure Supreme Krishna. And this purity may take a long time to attain. And sometimes when our impure desires start coming again and again, we may feel very disheartened. But if you understand that all that we need to do is, we don't have to battle our lower desires for the rest of our lifetime. Yes, we may have, they may be there and we may have to battle them. But right now, we just need to take one step now. We just need to resist that desire right now. Krishna talks about this dynamic in 2.64 and 65. 64 he says, Ragadvesha Muktaistu Vishayan Indriya Ischaran Atma Vashyair Vidhe Atma Prasadam Adhigachyati So he says, Ragadvesha Muktaistu When we put aside our attachment and aversion, Vishayan Indriya Ischaran And senses may move towards sense objects. Atma Vashyair Vidhe Atma we keep them regulated by following the guideline of scripture. And by that, prasadam adhigachyati, we'll get prasad, we'll get mercy. So Krishna is not telling that we have to become pure right now. Krishna says, just follow scripture right now. Just regulate the senses right now. If we do this, by gradual regulation, purification will emerge. How does it happen that through regulation, purification comes? Because our mind is a creature of habit. The more we continue functioning in a particular way, the more the mind starts accepting that kind of function as normal. And although initially it may resist it, but it will become a habit. And once pure, pure, pure living becomes a habit, then the, the mind's tendency to be habit-driven will start working for us instead of against us. And that is when we will be able to move forward joyfully in our life. When we see that the mind works for us instead of against us, then our life will become steady. Then the inner struggle will decrease and it's, we will hit like a home run. Although it may seem like a long, long journey, just keep giving steps, one step, one step, one step. That will develop a habit and a momentum. And a long journey will be covered. And most importantly, it is not we who have to cover all the journey. It is Krishna himself, he wants to us to cover the journey. And you know, he can and convert our one step into a giant leap. By which, he can help us to cover that distance. And in fact, when you can see Krishna is the distance, or to speak of converting our one step into a joint leap. So thinking of the destination to be very far away, we understand that Krishna is our destination and he can also come close to us. So it is said that when we take one step towards Krishna, he takes 10 or 100 or 1000 steps towards us. So rather than worrying about how far purity is, we can just focus on taking one step of living purely right now. And that pure living will eventually Take us to Krishna, where we will live forever beyond the world of impurity. Thank you. Hare Krishna.